What's up guys? Um, officially day 30 in the hospital. Um, so shunt surgery. <clears throat> I don't wanna I don't wanna speak too soon, but I think the problem that the shunt was trying to fix seems to be getting better, but there's some other things going on that they're still trying to figure out. <clears throat> they uh, they presumed when all the swelling went down that her nausea would go away, and it has not. She is uh, sick on her stomach constantly, not eating. I have to, um, I mean, I'm basically force feeding her. She's so mad at me right now because I, I just keep pushing her. She keeps telling me she's going to throw up. I keep trying to tell her I don't think you will. I think it's just the sensation. And the doctor agrees. They said they think she just has that feeling, but... You know, because she hadn't thrown up anything in a week, over a week now. <clears throat> anyway, um, so they're trying to figure that out. Um, she is hurting very badly from the shunt surgery. It's, that was not a pleasant surgery. I'm almost going to say the brain surgery was a better experience than the shunt surgery. Um, she's got an incision on her stomach couple of incisions behind her ear and then obviously where they put the shunt in like right here well yeah this side and um they poured it under the skin you know that that's got to be pretty painful <clears throat> but she can't like cough she's like she's having a hard time even like moving and um can't keep her comfortable enough because she's already she's already been taking all this pain medicine stuff um She's built up somewhat of a tolerance to some things and they can't really give her any more. So, I mean, it's delauded on the regular right now, which is not great, not a good thing. It just puts her to sleep like, like before. So just, uh, if you guys will, continue to pray for some progress. So there's a there's a possible light at the end of the tunnel with, with the, the nausea. Today is her last day of... <coughs> of antibiotics and it's a very they are very strong antibiotics and um and she's basically been on them for this most of this like since she come out of the first surgery or a little after anyway when whole meningitis thing started and that's when she was at her not at her worst feeling nauseous and sick so uh, i'm praying hoping and praying hanging on a hope and prayer that starting tomorrow maybe she'll start to feel a little better uh, and then progressively get better from there <clears throat> a lot of the swelling is going back in the back of her head um, didn't realize what that was going to look like without having that bone flap area uh, when the swelling went down but uh kind of surprised me today but I, I it's good that the swelling's down um yeah she's just hurting no real relief she had about 10 minutes of relief yesterday and then they got her up moved her around it wrecked it <clears throat> and then they gave her the same medicine today they can't give her the same dosage it was a one that was a one-time dosage of uh that medicine they can't give it to her again like that and um yeah so she got about 10 minutes of feeling okay um, I don't know. Not a great update, I know. We're pretty beat up. We're tired. Uh, they're, uh, they're doing, like, CT scans of her abdomen, looking for anything else that might be causing the nausea. <clears throat> she does have other tumors in, like, the pancreas and other places. They came in and talked to us about that this morning, but, um... I had to remind them that she had some fresh scans on that, like right before the this surgery trip. So they went uh, they went back to consult her uh, oncologist, her original oncologist, and uh, look at those old scans. And we haven't heard back from them, so I'm assuming there was no surprises because they were coming to us like, oh, she has all this stuff in her pancreas, and I was like, that sounds exactly like what she's had for uh, like six, seven years. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's. This place is amazing, but it's not always a well-oiled machine. That's the reason I'm scared to leave. 
because it seems like every day I'm having to like stand in and go, no wait, that's not right. <clears throat> do this or do that. The charting isn't great. I have to tell the nurses little details that they have to do from, from one shift to another sometimes. But keep the doctors focused. The doctors keep rotating out basically because it's resident doctors and nurse practitioners. So basically like uh, I have to um, I have to decipher what the chart is telling them. So they got their basic information in the chart and then I have to add some color to it. And every time the color changes what they perceived, which really scares me to death. And it explains why modern medicine is such a debunkle, just, just a cluster, just a cluster. But at least it's here. Here's better than, here's better than anywhere else we've been. So don't take that as complaining. It's just, it's just very frustrating. But please continue to pray. And uh, everybody's asking what they can do. I don't know. Same, same as always. Just pray for us. Um, nothing, nobody can do. It's in God's hands. Just waiting on, waiting on that to come through. Yeah. Talk to you later. That was today's update.